Yo, what's going on guys? Arex here. Welcome back to another video for Elden Ring. And in this one, I want to put together a quick list of six awesome faith-related items, spells, weapons, talisman that you should pick up if you are specking into faith. So if you guys do enjoy this, a like will be super appreciated. Comment down below, let me know what you guys are building on your characters right now. And do be sure to keep a lot for plenty more Elden Ring. Now to begin with, first on the list is the Winged Scythe. This is a great early game faith scaling weapon with bleed. Bleed is incredibly powerful in this game and this can be found in the Tombswood Ruins. Go to the bottom part of Limgrave, the sort of bottom island, and you can see over here on the left hand side of the map are the Tombswood Ruins. Simple thing, run over, go down the stairs, run to the back as these tombs typically are, and then go in the door and there is a chest where you can get the Winged Scythe. Next up on the list, we have an awesome Faith Talisman. This one is a little bit tricky to get, but it is a great early game talisman for Faith users because it boosts the potency of all incantations. For this one, if you go over to the first step and you then turn right, we're going to be going over to the Dragon Burnt Ruins. Simple thing, jump over the wall, bypass all the enemies, go down the stairs, and again, go to the door at the back. Only this time, upon opening the chest, you will then be teleported. This will take you to the Celia Crystal Tunnel, which depending on when you are doing this in the game, again, if you are doing this early, will be far too powerful for you. Make sure you avoid these guys. Guys, simply follow the route that we are taking on screen right now, and then when you get to the end of it, you will find your talisman. Next on the list, we have an incantation. This is Lightning Spear. This is a super good incantation. It does awesome damage, but you do, of course, have to slay a knight. But if you do this on horseback, it is actually pretty easy. If you go further north up into Leonia and you go to the Artist Shack Site of Grace, from there you can go south a little bit and if you run out you'll see in the open you will find one of these golden knights. If you then run around him and take him out, he will then drop this prayer book which you can then take north up to the Church of Vows. You can speak to our good old turtle friend, give him the book to learn the incantations and you can then go and purchase said incantation from him. After that, we then have the Erdsteel Dagger. This is a faith scaling dagger, another great weapon and something you can get really easily early on in the game. For this one, you simply need to find Kenneth Height in Limgrave and then you need to go and complete his quest, which is pretty simple. It's located over here on the map, as you can see, if you go to the Third Church of Marica, it's a little bit southwest of there. You then go over, climb up this structure and you'll find him there. Following this, you then need to go over to Fort Height, which is in the bottom right-hand corner of the Limgrave map, the sort of upper portion. And then you go to the top and you simply need to kill the knight. After doing that, you will then be awarded the dagger. Following on from this, we then have the Godslayer Seal. Of course, seals are necessary for incantations. This is an awesome early game seal and it's very accessible. You will, however, need a Stonewood key, so make sure you get one of those. You can, of course, get them from various vendors, other things like that. But if you then go to the Tower Ramparts in Stormvale Castle and you then follow this route, there are actually a couple of ways you can get here. There's a later Site of Grace you can also use to run back. Basically, you're going to be running into the courtyard and then upon doing so, you'll then circle your way down the stairs and you'll then continue to the end until you get to a Stonewood key door. You will then interact with this, go down the stairs, and on the left is the chest that has the God Slayer seal. On the right is also a prayer book that gives you some black flame incantations. Also very nice. I've spoken about those ones before, but this is definitely a seal that is worth using. And then finally, for the last one, we're going to be getting an Ash of War, which is incredibly useful. If you go to the Third Church of Marica, and you then follow the directions we are running right now across the swamp, you're basically looking for a Teardrop Scarab, or a Treasure Dung Beast, as I like to call them, because when you kill this one, you get the Sacred Blade, which in and of itself is a nice Ash of War, but don't forget in this game, when you apply the Ashes of War, you can also change the scaling of your weapons, and this allows you to change the scaling to Faith, therefore allowing you to use more weapons for Faith. So there you have it, there's a little rundown on six useful items you should definitely pick up early in the game if you are specking towards faith. If you guys want to run down on some awesome magic spells you can get that you definitely don't want to miss early in the game, then click this video and be sure to keep it locked for more Elden Ring. 